Hey there, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in the beautiful Nashville studios today. And uh, we're going to talk about the new, the brand new, Holosun Competition Optic. Uh, it's pretty awesome and pretty amazing, and I'm going to tell you all about it and uh, show you some features that I think are, uh, really make it special. But uh, you know, let me give you the backstory. So in January every year is the SHOT Show. It's the big industry trade show uh, held in Las Vegas. All the gun manufacturers get together. Everybody goes to the SHOT Show from all around the world, basically. And uh, everybody's looking at stuff. And my friends at Holosun, you know, insisted, really came after me and said, you got to come by and check this stuff out. You got to come by. It's something really cool. So, you know, they showed me a couple of neat things. And then they pulled out this new Holosun 507 Competition. That's what they call it, the 507 Comp. And uh, I looked at it and said, oh, my gosh, because the oh, my gosh, is the size of this glass. It's significantly larger than just about anything else on the market. It's really one inch across and about 0.8 inches tall. Uh, it's awesome. You know, it, it really is. Um, so, you know, I looked at it, ordered a bunch right away. Uh, that was in January. Here it is, June, and they literally just hit the, the dock yesterday. So they just got here. So it takes about six months for all of a sudden, you know, they introduced them and they got some orders and then they went and made them. And then all of a sudden they got imported and then they got shipped. And now we have them. And we've got a limited supply, but uh, it's pretty awesome. And what's really awesome, like I said, is the window itself. It's an aluminum body, just like Holosun. It doesn't have a solar panel, but it does have the battery tray accessible when you actually drop it onto the, um, uh, the slide. And so I've got a, uh, an RMR cut here. Now, you know we do optic cuts. Here's a slide someone sent to us. We cut the optic and we then blued it afterwards. So it's, you know, you can see it's, it's kind of blue or black in a sense. Um, and we cut it for the RMR footprint. And that's really what I'm going for is that the 507 comp, the new 507 Holosun 507 comp is an RMR footprint. And you'll see, here's what's really cool about what we do is we cut this one with a no-co witness. This is a competition shooter more than likely. You can see there's no uh, uh, dovetail back there. This is all the way back. It sits nice and low, and there's no plates needed when we do this. So that's what's really nice. It's actually nicer than, say, the MOS version, uh, because if you do the MOS version, you got to pop a plate on there, and all of a sudden that thing sits up a little bit higher. Because we are taking a Gen 3, Gen 4 slide, and we mill it all the way down. We can do it Gen 5s as well. If you don't have an MOS, we'll mill the slide for you. I believe it actually sits a little bit better uh, than uh, with the, uh, uh, the adapter plates. And that's, you know, basically, you know, it looks better too because it actually looks like it grew there. So here's the, the 34 a gentleman sent in for our 10-day optic program. We cut it into the RMR footprint. This just happens to be a demonstration that this uh, new 507 comp fits perfectly. See how it looks and how, how low it looks in there and how, how nice it looks as far as how it grows there like that? So this is the 507 Comp, the new one with the big window. Here's the original 507, which also has an RMR footprint. You can see the size of that. All right, but now let's go ahead and compare all three because the other option would be uh, this SRO, the, uh, uh, the Trijicon uh, SRO also has the RMR footprint. And there's what it looks like, whoop, like that. And it's pretty big. SRO is, is, is pretty big, but it, it is expensive. I mean, literally. <laughs> so it's about $100, maybe $150 more than this uh, new uh, uh, Holosun uh, comp. All right, so there's the three to compare with. Boom, boom, boom. You can look at all three of them there on the screen. Uh, you'll see why this, uh, uh, this 507 comp is going to take the industry by storm, the competition guys, because they really thought out, you know, who's going to use this and what it's really for. That's why they named it competition. It's really for competition shooters. Now, the reason I say that is because they also, and here's really, this is really the important part, is they changed the reticle from the standard circle dot to what they call their competition reticle. So it's really interesting what they did. And, and, and I bet you that they talked to a lot of competition shooters about this. Uh, because uh, in my conversations with guys who run and gun fast, uh, they like to have some options as to what they see. Most of the young guys just want to see the dot. You know, and I always wonder why, because the circle dot to me really brings my eye to the, to the dot itself. But they want to see the dot only, and they want to run with the dot. They don't even want to have any co-witness sites or anything in the way. They just want to see the dot and go. I personally like the circle dot. 
But I bet Jack Hollison talked to a bunch of competition shooters, and they came up with this new competition reticle that is really interesting. And um, uh, we're going to put it on the screen real, real for you right, right now for you. So basically, the dot itself is two of them away. This small competition circle, see how it's kind of differently shaped, is an 8 MOA. The next competition circle is a 20 MOA. And the, uh, the largest one is a 32 MOA. Now, Hollison was smart, and they made it so that you could do dot only or circle only, competition circle only, and go through, the, you, can, you can actually click through the different options. And the way that operates, by the way, is there's a plus and minus here on the side. If you press the plus down and just tap it, it's going to make the uh, circle or the dot brighter. You press the minus down and tap it, it'll make it dimmer, plus minus, right? If you hold the minus down and hold it down for like three, maybe four seconds, it'll actually change itself to, say, the dot only. Then you hold it and then you let it go and you hold it down again. It'll change itself to the dot and the circle, the small circle. And you hold it down again, and it'll change it to the next size circle, and the next size circle, and all that. So it's really interesting how they, you know, I mean, they give you the option to do whatever you want. But it has that big window. That's the big change. Uh, it is available right now. We've got the green ones only right now. That's all they shipped. Uh, we did order red ones, but they haven't shipped them yet. So I don't know if they'll ship them or not. But uh, I like the green personally because I think it's a little bit brighter. Now let's go through uh, the um, MOA concept. Because a lot of people always have questions about, well, what's... 8 MOA mean? <laughs> what does 2 MOA mean? And what is the difference and how does that work? So the MOA is kind of a standard uh, uh, term used for uh, sighting in uh, rifles. Typically, it started with scopes. MOA is minute of angle. Okay, MOA. And that means at 100 yards, and that's the standard, a 2 MOA would be 2 inches. 2 inch diameter circle. Okay, at 100 yards. At 50 yards, it's one inch. All right, so you can kind of start to do the math and go, okay, well, then at 25 yards, it's a half inch. And at 12 and a half yards, it's a quarter inch. It gets really, really small, right? Okay, so you can kind of see that concept. But now, think about competition shooters and what they do. So the next option there is an 8 MOA circle. So at 100 yards, it's an 8-inch round circle. At 50, it's 4. At 25, it's 2. At 12 and a half, which now starts to get into some of the competition areas, like 12 and a half yards, maybe there's a 12 and a half yard target, it's 1 inch. And again, if you go to 6.25 yards, uh, it's going to be uh, 0.5 inches. So, uh, 6.25 yards is like 18 feet, and that's a lot of competition stuff happens there. So, as a competition shooter, you could say to yourself, well, you know what? I, I want to use that 8 MOA circle because I know now that, you know, I've got a little bigger window and I, I can run and gun fast, and I've got you know, that 6.5 yards or 6.25 yards. That's a .5 hitting zone, .5 inch. And so now I can pop that thing pretty fast and I, I can, you know, kind of gauge or set the optic, the reticle, the competition reticle, based upon the stage of fire that I'm about to do. Which size, I and mean, is, there, is there a long shot here? You know, because sometimes, you know, they'll, they'll, in USPSA, they'll throw a 30-yard shot in, uh, you know, to kind of, you know, make you honest. Because, <laughs> you know, it's fun to run and gun. And everybody, you know, at, at you know, super close distances, you're not even looking at the sights, you're just pointing the gun. But when you start to get out to 12 yards and the 18 yards and the 20 yards and the 30 yards, you better start looking at the optic, you know, or, or your sights because you really just, you know, can't, you know, well, you can, but it's very difficult to just point the gun and shoot. Uh, so um, uh, I think that Hollison has had many conversations with competition shooters and saying, well, what do you really want and, and, and how do you want it? And I think they came up with it and they nailed it here with this, uh, uh, this, uh, new competition reticle with a 2, 8, 20, and 32 MOA option. So, again, big window is the determining factor. New competition reticle, wow, that kind of pushes it over the top. It's got all the standard Hullison features. Like I said, it's aluminum uh, body. Uh, it's pretty robust. Hullison is, you know, kind of like now become 
the leader in this optic, red dot, green dot optic world. Uh, price point wise, it's you know, less than the RMR and the true Chichicon stuff. Uh, but I tell you what, you know, if you're a competition shooter or you just want to have fun with a big window, um, this is going to be a hit. And uh, now here's, here's the other pitch. We're going to add this to our 10 day optics program, which means that if you send us your slide, we will mill it. We will install your choice of optic. And we kind of give you a little discount when you do the combo in 10 days or less and return the slide to you in 10 days or less. And we've done over 5,000 slides, probably almost 6,000 by the time you see this video. And um, we haven't missed one yet. I mean, UPS or FedEx has lost a couple, but we've replaced them. So, <laughs> but bottom line is, you know, it's, it's a fun program. And, and uh, you know what? Once you go to the optic, you really will see why all the top shooters in the world shoot with optics. Because it is faster and it's more accurate. I mean, just that simple. And you'll see the concept of shooting with an optic is that the lower the optic sits in the slide, the more pointable the gun is. As you add a plate, an adapter plate, or you start to stack this thing up there, you have to shoot more downhill because the, the optic, the, the actual sight or the reticle, is so much higher than the bore. So the lower it can sit is the better. And that's one of the advantages of the 10-day optic program we do is that we cut them as low as possible. And uh, because of that, um, people come back and do multiple guns. We've had people do, you know, four or five. <laughs> and they, once they do one, they say, wow, these guys got it. And boom, they sent us back three or four. So I'm hoping you can uh, join the Red Dot Revolution. Uh, if you're a competition shooter, well, this is a, a new trick here. It's going to fit on the existing RMR footprints. So if you've already got like a 507, you can say, hey, you know what? I want to upgrade to this 507 comp. Uh, and um, we've got them right now. So uh, again, if you uh, have a, a slide, go to our 10-day uh, optics program. We're going to add this optic to it pretty quick here. So this is part of the, uh, the uh, combo package. So you can send the slide in. We'll mount the optic for you. And we'll turn it around, like I said, in 10 days or less. I'm Lenny McGill. Of course, this is the... Uh, Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop. Now, there's a couple things. One, we're on Rumble, too, because if YouTube ever wants to ban us at some point, says the guns are really bad, uh, you know, go to Rumble and check out, you know, all the videos are, are over there as well. And, of course, you know, everybody's asking me here, say, hey, make sure that you ask people to like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. But do subscribe because it, always, you know, obviously it helps us uh, get more traction and, um, uh, well, good for my ego. <laughs> so, all that said, thanks for watching. I'm Lenny McGill. We'll see you next time.